what are you doing besides this phenomenal podcast? <laughs> Becoming the greatest investor of all time and then business stuff. Um, well, you're going gonna to beat Warren? Oh, oh you yeah. Run yeah, for yeah. his money, dude? Real, a lot of, a lot of railroads that Warren Buffet. Um, it is skewed a lot more towards mastering uh, trading long term, short term investing, and then long term investing. Um, it's taking a little bit of a more important study and time than um, enterprising stuff. Uh, are you? I know off top that can give me capital right away. Are you a day trader now? No, but I watch trades every day. So that's what I've been doing. Remember, remember that time you were into options and I was into futures? Yes. I never stopped being into futures. Oh, nice. Yeah. I kind of um, stopped being into options. Yeah. Because I, crypto took over my life. I, um, yeah. <sighs> crypto I, I, is fun. Mastering, mastering futures, which can get me a lot of money. Um, in an easy way. It's not like, I'm learning about freaking derivatives of options and stuff. I'm literally watching just charts in enough times over a year. It's been, it was actually a year. March 10th was when I opened an account to like look at future stuff. And, um, definitely not where I wanted to be at a year. I was like, all right, at a year, I have a profit factor of enough where I can, I can go live and, and risk a lot of money. And, uh, uh, it's just not at that point yet, but, um, the intuitiveness is, is taking over where I've looked at two markets, main markets, like every day for a year. And I can, I can, the intuitiveness is, is almost there. You think you could teach a class right now? The, the, mentors I've learned from put it in such a simple way where the class, like, it's not like I don't have nine chapters to teach someone. I can uh, tell someone a very simple strategy and like, and then say, do this for a year. And that's the class. I it's see. not a good selling point, but not a good selling point at all. But I understand. I mean, like, if you like, I guess if you like marketed, like, this is also I will teach you how to learn futures fast and effectively. Take my class. Do it for a year. I mean, the thing is, and especially how I was marketed as well, there's, it's, it's not like, it's very simple. You just have to get up and watch every day for a year. It's time in. It's, nice. it's not a great, like, scheme to go on Sam Cart and and Coursera and sell to people it's a scheme to get you capital I see yeah I've been listening to this podcast about people that make courses this guy has a piano course learn piano in 21 days and I'm pretty sure he's just teaching them scales and like learn teaching them like because that's really all you got to know he's making like 200k a month Mm -hmm. This other guy has a course where he teaches parents to teach their kids how to read hmm. like 150 K a month. And what site does he go through it, or just like his own site? Um, so he has like a couple that he uses, but I think his main one is Kajabi. Yeah. He likes using click funnels or he said he stopped using click funnels cause they haven't updated their stuff in a while. Um, classic. And then he also uses WordPress but he says Kajabi has the most stuff, but it's like the most expensive. So, um, but anyway, he was saying like, uh, cause this totally like blew my mind. Cause I didn't even really think of, about this shit. So like his strategy or everybody's strategy now is just like make TikToks and Instagrams, give away something for free so that they give you their email, keep emailing them stuff and then slowly promote your course. But then like, introduce it in a way with like artificial scarcity. Hey, this is only going to be available for 24 hours or Hey, this discount will only be here for 24 hours. And, um, yeah, just sell your thing. And it's fucking crazy, dude. The things that like, 
the people he has on his podcasts are just making courses and making so much money about the most random things you could ever think of. Like, like, I don't know, like how to groom a cat. Like someone will like pay like a couple hundred bucks to learn how to do that. Like effectively. Hmm. If they're like, if you market it toward like, I don't know, a veterinarian or someone that wants to open their own like cat grooming business and they need employees to Hmm. like learn to do that shit, Hmm. you know? So it's like really about fucking super niching and finding your, your audience, you know? I feel like TikTok's really good for that. Is catered kind of towards people making small businesses, people taking those courses. Yeah. Unless like, I mean like the piano, the piano one is just like, if you want to learn how to play sure. piano, sure, sure, sure. but it's, I guess it's just like, cause people pay for their time back. Mm-hmm. So he's saying that psychology is like, okay, you can watch piano course on YouTube. Right. And the guy might be good, but psychologically, if you want to pay like 50 bucks for a piano course, you have skin in the game. So you're going to pay attention and you're thinking if it's 50 bucks, it must be good. Especially if there's testimonials from like real people saying my piano skills improves like 10 X, you know? Mm 